This podcast was edited and uploaded by Uncle G Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Drippin' G Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle G, and with me is host your media gaming. We record this podcast live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, or anywhere you can find a podcast. You can also watch our video podcast over on YouTube.com slash Drip and G. This week, we are doing some Switch stuff, as we always do Nintendo stuff. I didn't have a good one to say. I'm just I'm making up on the fly. We had a week off. I'm rusty. Drip, how you doing? Save me. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We had a week off. Yeah. A little rusty. It's fine. It's yeah, it's fine. fine. You know, you gotta, just, gotta shake it out, man. It's fine. The, the, totally good. We got yeah. a lot of stuff, though. We, we got, got a ton of stuff to talk about. Yeah, we do. We got we got almost too much to talk about. We got to like start going rapid fire with this stuff, we, man. We got, we got a jam-packed one. PlayStation stuff. Play? We've got wow. Zelda stuff. Wow. We've got new uh, games on the... Switch online service. What else? Nintendo. Stuff. We have Nintendo drama in the courtroom. Oh, oh drama! Oh, drama! It's and fucking... we have something saved for the after show. We actually yes, we have do. a good after show. Tonight. We have a good after show. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. I'm really excited about that. We yes. always get to the after show, and I'm always like, "Well, shit! What are we? What are we even doing? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what are we doing? But doing I mean, nothing. as far as what I've been doing the past two weeks, you know, nothing. I mean, I don't know. Nothing crazy." I can't, I don't know. I was trying to think earlier, like, is there anything I could talk about that I've been doing? But it's really just been more of the same. Yeah. I built a Razor Crest Lego. That was awesome. That was, I wish Pretty I was excited about that. I, I'm so mad because, like, I can't watch your Twitch streams as much as I used to. And like, you're, doing, you're doing some cool stuff over there. Uh, I'm just going to take a second, guys, just to plug the Dirt Media Twitch, man. He's he's revamped it. He's, he's doing some cool stuff over there. Uh, yeah. We did play some games last night, though, too. I, I, I felt like playing a game. I saw your. I tried to do, uh, I saw the clip. I, I saw the clip where you where you, <sighs> you, you did the thing that you never you weren't supposed to do, man. Yeah, I died. Yeah, you, you got smushed and curvy. and curvy, man. Oh man, and it was. I came close a few times. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally fine. And then you know, Willie decided that he was gonna make me uh, shotgun a beer. So oh, Willie! Reaction Willie. times yeah. got a little slow after that. <laughs> I I bet I bet. And then yeah, then that happened after the shortly after that's when that happened. Yeah. So yeah. I ju- it's Willie's fault. Yeah, it's his fault, not mine. We, we love not- Willie. Willie is a is wonderful in community. He is way too generous to to not only me but everybody in our community. Which Willie, yeah. shout out to you, man. Appreciate you. For sure. But uh, what about you? I know you got some cool stuff going on. I'm very yeah. excited for you. You want to tell I mean, the people what you li- got on the way? Life wise, as far as my daily days, how they're going, it's it's it's, it's the same, man. We get up, go to work, come home, try to do some stuff yeah. on YouTube. YouTube videos scheduled to come out on Friday. I'm gonna probably push it to Saturday if I can't finish it tomorrow after the podcast, after I all that stuff I do with that. But uh yeah, so I'm doing some YouTube again, you know, every other week. I'm trying to do every week. However, however, I have exciting news regarding a purchase that I made recently that some people know. I made a self-destructing uh, uh, Discord message on Discord the other day. It was pretty funny. A few people saw it before it died. I was doing like five dot dot dot, four dot dot. It was pretty funny. Uh, I have purchased I on eBay a Wii U and a copy of Wind Waker HD. Yeah. I yeah, am, I am you, ecstatic. You, you haven't played Wind Waker, have you? No. Dude, it's, no. it's it used to be my number five Zelda. It may still be number five, but I, I, I like it a lot more. I don't know. I played through it again. Yeah. Uh recently. Well, how long ago was that? When I played it on stream and I was still streaming on YouTube. That was a while ago, but that's the last time I played through it. But man, it's so good. It's yeah, one of the man. best. You're gonna love it. I can't You're wait. Absolutely gonna love it. Can't wait watching you play through that on YouTube. That was it. Was like I was like ah e ah, but that was before I was really solo on, on the, the Zelda games. I was at the time I was like yeah. Breath of the Wild is the best. There's nothing that comes close. I was wrong. Uh, Wind Waker at the time I was like man, but no. Like after thinking about it, you know, going back watching other people play some Wind Waker, I'm like nah, I'm gonna really enjoy Wind Waker. But here's yeah. the other thing too. I'm excited as well to get my hands on the Wii U eShop as well because there's a lot of titles, Zelda titles that uh, I know I can, can play. Some uh, the Game yeah. Boy ones, which I do have already on the 3DS. Get, yeah, get them quick because I, I have them already on 3DS. But the the, the Game Boy Advance, March? yeah, uh, Minish Cap, 
I'm get, I'm getting that. I played Minish Cap on my brother's uh, Game that's, Boy Advance. Yeah, that's fun. I've never I've never played Minish. Cap. I played it for a minute on his Game Boy Advance. Uh, and usually when he played, he show, he showed he's like, yo, here's this game. You know, it's like a Metroid game or, or whatever. He's like, hey, try this out. And I played. I'm like, yeah, it's fun. I don't think I'm actually gonna want to play it. I played Minish Cap. He had you know, I tried it out. Oh my goodness, that game is is some is some magic to that one. I don't know what it is. There's some magic, and I can't Nintendo wait to, magic, man. Yeah, Nintendo Magic. But yeah, I got the got the Wii U, uh, and it, if you if you guys know, it's uh you know it's kind of it's not scarce, but uh, it's definitely a little bit scalped a little on eBay. It should not be as expensive as it is. It really shouldn't, uh, but it is. Yeah, I, well, I got to, mine for a steal. Yeah, you what, you got is it. yours. Is yours a uh, no? It's just yours is just a regular black one. Just what regular is it? black is it one. Sixteen or thirty two gigabyte or is it? Yeah, thirty two. Thirty two. Okay, it was eight. Like that's insane. That's yeah. insane like, for a for a home eight, console of yeah, a TV insane. eight gigabytes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. but yeah, I got yeah, the, I got my I got my Wind Waker Special Edition. I haven't. I actually put it back here on the shelf. The controller. The, uh-huh. the it the Wii U itself is the same. It's just black, but the yep. controller has all the Zelda stuff on. I got that for like a hundred bucks with games. I know. Yeah, you bought Crazy. it at the right time, man. You bought that at yeah. the right time for the right person. Uh, I got mine for a hundred bucks. Uh, 15, 115 after shipping and tax, which That's was not bad. It's great in this market. Yeah, it's now it's yeah. a little bit. There's some cosmetic issues with it, but it's 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 supposedly works perfectly fine. There's a little bit of cosmetic stuff. I can yeah, deal with cares. that. I it's can not deal a spe- with that. That's what I'm saying. Like that one, I was like, I'm gonna go look at it because yeah. I don't really. I mean, it's still it's 100 bucks for the special edition one, but I mean they're going for a lot more than that now. Oh yeah. Um, oh god, that three hundred dollars, like two fifty. Yeah, that one was like flawless. I was like, yeah, yeah. this this lady did not know what she had. Oh, yeah, for she didn't sure. Know what she had. And this guy knew what he had. He, he was kind of funny. He's like, uh, I, I took he took a couple pictures of it in his entertainment center. He's like, uh, up for sale. All the cords come with it. I just don't feel like fishing it out of my entertainment center. If it sells, I'll send it all to you. <laughs> I'm just kind of going on trust that he's going to send me the power cord and all that. Uh, because he just he just took a picture of it at his entertainment center. Uh, I, I think he will. I could kind of, I could tell he just wanted. He was like, ah, I'll, I'm happy where it is. But if I if I could get some money for it, I'll fish it all out and send it to somebody. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. So we'll get that. I'm gonna make a video on that. That's gonna be fun. I think the a little little taste of uh, the video title here. I haven't told anybody yet. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little play on retro consoles. It's it's kind of a retro console in a way. It's it's old or it's older. So, but uh, I'm gonna do like uh, I it's bought a retro. Re- but I bought older. a I bought a retro console in 2022. Yeah, let's talk about it. I something like that. I think I'm going to review the PlayStation Five on my channel. That because I'm looking forward to that, man. I want to hear it. And uh, I excited. Yeah. J- JD talked about that the other night with you. Yeah, I was Julian there for that. gave me the idea. He he's the one who gave me the idea. Yeah. Uh, and I thought about it, and I was like, yeah. yeah. But you know what? <laughs> like, you know, whatever. Yeah. Title like you know, Nintendo fanboy reviews the PS something yeah. like that. Put whatever. a Nintendo spin on it. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's exactly how I'm going to go into the entire review too. As a Nintendo owner, who yes. that's what I have that's what i do yes and then what this is and how i use it that's pretty much what it's going to be i'm going to do that next next week maybe this week i don't know this yeah, weekend man. i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do but that that's probably going to be the next video there's a bunch that are going to come after that but um yeah i don't know yeah so Lots we got we got a, yeah we got a jam-packed show here man so let's go let's go to get yeah. to it and before we get to the actual show as always as we do let's get to the beer of the week this week uh, i'm gonna start off because we have so many i'm gonna get to a lot of beers of the weeks uh, let's just start with the listener beer of the week right from the get-go and actually i am pulling some beer of the weeks but i'm gonna i'm, I'm accommodating some uh some of our our, our 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 followers that do not have twitter so i'm um, this is the first week we're incorporating some discord beer of the weeks Yay! Good. Top over here. Let's get to let's get a ch- chuggy chug over here. This is from like, a, like March fifth. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, nothing about it. No description, but it's a, a Muskion's own Pigeon Hill Brewing Company salted caramel porter. Look at this can for those of you watching this podcast. It's got like a, a like a salted caramel, but with a big chunk taken out of his head. Yeah, I like it. It's a like it's it. a great looking can. Love it. No description, but thanks, Chug, for that little little tasty taste of uh of that beer. And the next one, he posted another one about 15 days later. Founders. This one's hard to read, uh, but it's KBS. ABS. Yes. How's a- that hard to read? Hazelnut. No, no, no. Those words above it. The brewing company oh, okay. words above it. It's very small for me. 
Jeep, come on. No, no, no. KV, it's huge. I can see KVS. KVS, dude, it's giant. It's what an talking about? It's an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels. It's, it's such a dark looking beer. It's a really nice picture you took. Thank you, Chug, for those couple submissions. Yeah, thank you very this much. This one we'll Appreciate get to in that. a second. Uh, and then here we go. Coca Baby. Coca Baby. A couple days ago. This, again, a little hard to read here. Did he write anything with it? He said, okay, this one was cool. Double IPA. Melvin from, it's a, a Melvin, or sorry, Melvin is from Wyoming, my home state. Coke Baby, shout out to uh, Wyoming, those of you out there. Nice. It's got like a picture of like Thor, but like not Thor. It's like, what is that? Can you see what that is? It's like a hop that's shaped as Thor? I yeah, don't know. I, I saw it in Discord earlier. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it looks really cool, man. Awesome. Thank you for those uh, so submissions. Look at, let's get to Drip's. Uh, beer of the week drip what do oh, you got oh god me okay yeah, man. okay okay hang on it's a weird one. Oh yeah so let's I, was in, I went i i gave up on gucci kroger okay <laughs> gucci I've, kroger. Few, I've given up on them for a while their beer selection has gone a little bit downhill they haven't had anything cool in a while so i okay. went over to this other it's, they, they call it the party store it's like it's beer and yeah. party stuff you know what i mean kind of like a yeah. party city type oh, yeah. thing but it's like a local one so I, I i actually let xbox girl pick this beer out i sent her three options i let her pick and she picked this one which i'm very interested in and it was the only sour that i could find that i hadn't had so oh. i'm kind of glad she picked this one it is local ish it's from west virginia it's from berkeley okay. springs brewing company uh it is a green tea sour Green tea sour. Look at that can. Interesting. Yeah. Green tea sour sounds absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm fairly interested. In this. Mountaintop Mountaintop Tea is what it's called. Um, tea. Beer brewed with pure mountain spring water and green tea. No hops, no artificial sweeteners. It's only four percent alcohol. Okay. Cool, man. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour yeah. the first one in the cup. I'm Give it very an old, curious the an color. old sippy sip. Pour Ooh. it in here. That's right. You did get your mug out. Yeah. Yes. I couldn't wait. I, I had to pour mine and drink it. I, I'm going to pour two in here so I have a full beer. glass. But we'll, uh, we'll test it out. Oh, there's some floaties in there. That looks some uh, stuff floating around in there. That looks that looks like something I would expect to be flavored green tea. For sure, yeah. Like a like a milk uh, like a milky orangey it's got, yellow. It's got a little bit of yeah. It's like a looks like straight lime juice is what it looks like. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's give it a sip. What do you got? Woo! It's sour. Oh, it's real sour. Oh, oh my god! Malactic acid at its finest. I think it's how you say that word. Malac- uh, malactic. What do you think? <sighs> what do you think? So it's wow! Well, I was not expecting this. The green tea, I'm not really getting. It just tastes like, just kind of tastes sour. Tastes like it was made by hippies. I'll tell you that. <laughs> hey, they they can make a beer, man. Yeah, I'm not I'm not, not saying that's a bad thing. <laughs> oh man. I mean, it's very very sour. It's very, it's almost lemony. I mean, it's. Well, I mean, it's the got green. A lot of there's got to be. Notes. There's got to be green. A lot of um, citrus. Something in green tea, yeah. I would expect to have some citrus. Yeah, the tea, the tea part of it's in. The, it's like afterwards. If that makes sense. It's like okay. the yeah. aftertaste on my tongue. I can taste the tea. Yeah. Uh, it's there. It is much, much more sour than I thought it was going to be. That's for sure. Did not expect that. I do like it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. The color is kind of crazy. It's got some, got some floaters in there. That kind of makes me like what is going on there. But I mean, you know. Hippies be doing weird stuff. So be doing weird Whatever. stuff. They've been making some delicious stuff. Very cool. Yeah, it's nice, good. Nice it's beer for good. you. I got the yeah. the old faithful uh, anti hero. Here it is. Mm-hmm. Looks looks violet from my lights, but I promise it's cheers. More beer. Hey, cheers, but beep, plink. Nice, uh, nice Indian ale or Indian pale ale IPA. And here's the here's the can for those of you who don't remember what the ip or what the anti hero looks like there it is been drinking a lot recently it's a uh, it's you a nice it's, it's a nice go to that's what i do yeah. i i buy beer not necessarily in bulk but i buy it and i don't drink beer that much and i just kind of keep it for a while yeah you know i'm just i'm not i'm not an alcoholic i don't drink it all at once <laughs> i mean if it's here i'm pretty much drinking it <laughs> okay so we have two more beer of the week submissions cuz uh thank you guys on twitter We're going to the uh, tw- uh 
twitter.com slash drip jeeb and at drip jeeb with your uh, tweet and description before of your you beer. Get, before you get any further. Now that's a perfect pour. Get out of here. Don't one, give me any shit. That was the pre-show. You had to be here. <laughs> uh, anyway, drip. Uh, one from a, a while ago from Parallax Puddles, March 14th. Uh, mango. Definitely mango. That is the post that he had put with this one. It's a nice mango beer. It literally is a can and there's no words. It's just a picture of a sliced mango with a regular mango next to it. Ba- yeah, the background fades from orange to yellow. Yeah. And there's a mango. Uh, there's some words in the back of the can. Single, the single series. I guess it's just like kind of the, like, it's a single flavor. It's mango. Kind of dealy. There you go. That's the mango. Thank you, Parallax, for that submission. And one more. Finally, this is, I'm excited for this one. Gels. Uh, Ajella oh, nice. on, on, on Twitter. Ajella Music. <laughs> Uh, it looks like a, a J Lum the music because <laughs> I'm dyslexic. Uh, anyway, Gels go, goes ahead and gives us a submission here. The can says drinkable and refreshing with delect uh, with delicate hops and a clean finish. I say, I uh, I say would drink at a barbecue to wash down a burger. Can you tell I don't really drink beer? <laughs> Laughing emoji at drip jeep hashtag beer of the week hashtag seventh seventh sun brewing. There you go. And it's a, the the can itself is really the, the star of the show here. So if you're listening, just go ahead and drop on YouTube real fast to check out this picture, or go ahead on Twitter and go ahead and check out the picture itself. We retweeted it's a cat. it. It's a cat drinking a book. Looks to be like a wine glass to me. To be honest, like that's a big head on that. Yeah, I can't on really that beer. See it. Yeah, it looks like that's a very yeah. <laughs> it's a cat drinking a beer. American Golden Ale. Uh, assistant manager is the beer. If I haven't mentioned that already. You have not. Glad assistant, you did. Assistant manager, American Golden Ale. It's a cat drinking a beer. That's pretty fucking cool. Gels, thank you for the submission. As always, appreciated by all you guys. Yes. Uh, get some more submissions. The next week, we got all these submissions at once. Like, we, now we're dry. We need some next week. Uh, more submissions for next week. Go ahead and drop us. Twitter.com yes. slash at, or Twitter.com at Drip There you Dripster. go. Dripster. Dripster. Yes. Hopping yes. into it. SNES. Yes. They drop some games. I don't even know what yeah. these games are. Do you know what these games are? Uh, Dig Dug 2, I know what it is. Not one I'm <laughs> looking forward to playing or give two shits about playing whatsoever. Uh, Looks like a worm one, what's game. What's the other one? It's a worm gym. Earthworm, Earthworm Gym, gym 2. Earthworm Gym this, We're watching the trailer. Okay, this one is great. This one is. I had this on PC back in the day, dude. I never. I didn't, I've never oh, played yeah? the uh, the Super Nintendo. This version. looks like to me. PC version. This looks like a PC. Gra- like the graphics look PC dude, to me. It's this game old, is old fun. PC. They, if you haven't played Earthworm Jim games, you need you need to play them. They are good games. Okay, um, that's, that's a great. Dog, okay. Yeah, I don't know. What's the other one? It's uh on the Nintendo something. Entertainment Center. Uh, enter, Nintendo the NES. I'm an idiot. Dig Dug yeah. Two. Yeah, Dig Dug Two is kind of cool. You it's got like a Zelda, jackhammer, look Zelda and Two, and you can like you can it's, like knock off pieces of the island with your jackhammer and kill. The, I don't know what they are bugs or so, I don't know what they are. This is Zelda it's, Two, man. It's whatever. This is it, Zelda Two. I don't know. I'm so done with what they're putting on the uh, the NES. Like Earthworm Jim saves this little batch because these other two games. I mean, come on, Mappy Land. Mappy Land. That's it. It's it's uh. It's a mouse. Yeah. He is I mean, running around. It's Mario style game, side scrolling 2D platformer. Yeah, not good. He's Chucky Chuck E. Cheese. He's he's this looks really dumb. This looks yeah. incredibly dumb. This is the first I've seen these games live on this podcast with you right now. Uh yeah. Mappy Lamb Land. Yeah, this one I don't I don't know anything about this. But nah. let's go back to the uh, first Earthworm one. Earthworm Jim too is Earthworm cool. Jim. This one looks really good. I actually think it's yeah. a legitimately good, like cool looking game. It it is. And the first one's really good too. The first one is, uh, it's, it's good. The first one's really good, but the second one has a lot more stuff. You know what I mean? It's always the same way with sequel. Like the, it's the same concept as the first one, but they've just refined things, added things. Right. It's good. This is definitely one you want to play for sure. The cows. Do they talk the to you? It. Like these cows right now, are they talking? Like, is that, is that a thing? I don't know. Uh, I believe so. Griff Mendez in the chat. Mappy land is actually great. I, Griff, yeah, I, don't, I just don't know anything about it. It doesn't look. Doesn't really look like something. I don't know. Grit, uh, it's really, really hard for me to go back to an NES game I've never played and get any enjoyment out of it right now. Yeah, like yeah. I, I, a lot of my NES games that I go back to are, 
I go back based off nostalgia. You know what I mean? Because yes. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember playing the original Mario. Yes. Or I remember playing this or that. Like I, you can't really, you're not going to get me to play a game like that now, unless it was made now and it just has those type of, you know, that type of look, that yeah. type of art style, pixelated art style. But it's, I don't know. I just can't do it. Yeah, totally agree with it that. It may be great. It may be great. Might be. What's not great, Drip, is the Joy-Con Drift controversy that we've been going through, what, s- since what, six months after the Switch came out? As soon as, as soon as Drift started to be noticeable, it's been a controversy? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I've never... I've. I've never really had to So this it. morning, uh, or after work, I should say, this afternoon, I got home, uh, as I usually do, turn on YouTube on my big screen back there where the fireplace is at, uh, sat yes, the old GB Dreams, sat down for some YouTube on, and I checked out the latest Spawnway video, uh, like watching his stuff, so we went in and check it out, and he was discussing, with, and he had a laughing tone when he was talking about it, and, and maybe the, it was the, his tone that made me think it was kind of funny, hey, you guys let me know how, how funny it is, I think it's pretty funny that kids are suing Nintendo, like actually, like li- literally, kids are suing Nintendo. Not it's not as if their moms or daddies was doing it. Like actually, kids are represented by a lawyer. And the latest thing to come around here with the, was the latest batch of lawsuits from these kids is that the argument is that they can't sue because they are kids. How? So here's my question, Drip. How did the parents of these kids think it was a good idea for the kids to sue and not just the parents in the kids' it- name? I don't, and I don't also know. the this argument thing. the <laughs> argument that the kids can't sue because they didn't buy it is bonkers because it should just be the parents suing officially because the parents bought it like the okay the sure the kid did not buy it therefore he doesn't has no case he didn't spend any money but the mom and dad did you don't know that kid could have that kid could have been out there slinging lemonade all no, summer he could have which is a better story uh, he could have been, uh, been uh, recycling cans and made enough money to buy a switch. Did you hear about that story? Uh-uh. That's in our discord. Let me find it real fast. I, I mean, I'll just talk about it while I'm looking for it. Uh, I, so uh, I, I'm not, I'm not sure what country he, uh, this kid's from. He could be America. I'm not sure. Um, but apparently he had sold, uh, he had gone around picking people's trash to get their cans. And he, he did that so much that he made enough money to buy an entire Nintendo switch with the money he made picking people's trash. Wow. That's that's dedication. It is dedication. I don't know what the price of aluminum is right now, but a lot. It's a lot of cans, man. Is I'll tell you that's what. A, that's here's a the lot number. A lot. A lot of cans. Exactly a lot. Fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find the story in, in Discord, but it's really cool. I thought that was really awesome. Yeah, that is pretty cool. That is. Uh, pretty cool. I mean, this whole thing with the with the I don't know, man. All this is is th- th- this is just this is it's a it's a class action lawsuit, man. These things take forever and the reason they take forever is because they're just pulling everything they and then nintendo's lawyers are finding any little thing they can to try to do this and do that and make it go like this and make it go like that because eventually some of these people just give up they're just like yeah whatever and the longer it takes the longer it takes the less money they're gonna end up having to pay right so that's that's what's going on here that's why these things take so long Longer and, it goes, the less people that want to actually get in on it. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the, you know, the, the they hype dies the, down. I'm pretty sure didn't. I, I thought I I heard this on Spawn Wave this morning. Actually, I'm pretty sure he said something about um. Uh, that they put in the user agreement. Yeah. That you that you have to click and agree to when you play the switch that you won't join a class action lawsuit. That's some shady shady sit right there from Nintendo. Yeah. I, I, uh, now I, I only listened to it once, and I heard that, but I was driving, so I was like, "Is that what he just said?" I could be totally wrong, but I thought that's what he said, and I was like, "Yeah, that's very interesting." If that happened, that's actually kind of smart because nobody reads that shit. Exactly. Uh, where I kind of stand on this whole thing, uh, you know, I'm always gonna go side with the small guy. I'm never gonna go with the big corporation. Ne- never will I once side with a big corporation. Fuck them. But the in this, uh, here's how I, it's kind of going against my my nature, but. I gotta be honest. In a weird way, Nintendo has handled the Joy-Con drift situation fantastically, and not in terms of publicity and whatnot. Terrible, terrible, terrible. They've done terrible things, but they're image-wise for the Joy Cons. They're they're not they're not ruined from it by any means, but they definitely did not handle the situation publicly very well. But what, no. what I'm saying is, they handled quite literally the handling of Joy Cons, getting new ones in your hands. Like, okay, you got drift. 
just send them to us. Yeah, and within a yeah. five day turnaround, you got a brand yeah. new Joy-Con, or at You're least right. a, a well, referred Joy-Con. The problem is no cost. It's not in every country. That's Here, a problem. We can do that. That's a that problem. That's a big problem. It should be worldwide. It should it be should... like that everywhere. Yeah. Uh, it's not. You're right. I mean, and that's and people get mad about that, and they're like, "Oh, well, you know, if they break, then you don't have your Joy Cons." Like, dude, it's they're, the turnaround time's like nothing. Yeah. And let's I'm, be real. If you got any type of like replacing the sticks only in Joy Cons, it's it's less than it fi- is so easy. It less than five so bucks, and it it, it takes a, a, a uh, I would rate it as a easy difficulty for the the not the no, person yeah. who's never if you done watch it before. A tutorial, yeah. If you have if you have steady enough hands, if you know uh, if you're a, a, an adult, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't recommend any kid probably under sixteen to try it, just because kids will be kids. Um, but as far if you're if you're an adult, an able capable adult who can has used a Jeeve screwdriver is the, before, Steve is the president of the Joy-Con <laughs> stick. Yes. Yes. No, it's really sixteen look, and older. Sixteen and older. Sixteen and older. And seriously, guys, it's very easy. It, like the ratings board, Jeeves, Jeeves ratings board. Exactly. That's what uh, it's, it's super easy. It, it's also it's also yeah, inexpensive. It like they, most of these kits come with a screwdriver. Now they suck. They're pretty much one time screwdriver uses anyway. But it's fine. Like like it, I bought a pack of like twenty of them because I've had multiple sticks uh, break on me. Luckily, I've been real lucky. Knock on some fucking huge piece of wood on my desk. My Zelda Joy Cons and my white ones, the, and also I guess all, all all I have right now are special edition. I have the Mario red ones, I have the white ones that are not really special edition, but they're the cool ones that everyone likes, and the Zelda ones. None of those Joy Cons have had issues. I've had my Abby's Joy Cons uh, were refurbished neons; those those went. I had my I bought brand new, like six months. It literally took six months before my brand new blue and yellow ones started to drift. Uh, Brett, like that was crazy. Six months in drift. That's nuts. Uh, but I've had the other, other ones for a year. No problems. It's really hit or I've miss. Had, I've had one stick drift and it was on my very fir- the original switch. Uh, cause that's when I was playing literally nothing but breath of the wild yeah, like, yeah. every single day. Just, yeah. you know, that's, that's really why it went. Just, that's why it went. Cause breath of yeah. the wild. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I've got these monster hunter ones. No mm-hmm. problems. White ones. No problems. Animal yeah. Crossing ones, no problems. Zelda yeah. ones, yeah, no problems. Yeah, I definitely I mean, had problems. I've I'm a, a a good case of I've had lots of problems, and I've also had no problems. Like yeah. the, like my 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 last three sets I've had no problems. My first two sets problems multiple times even. I've had to replace cut sticks multiple times. But again, so, God, it's, they're, they're it's so, so easy. easy to replace. Whatever. Uh, this is know. funny. I don't, I don't think kids, it's that big of a deal. Kids are suing. Nintendo's saying, you can't sue. You're a child. And I'm laughing and getting free Joy-Con replacements if you need it, which is nice. But my Joy-Cons are, are good for now, and I can replace them if I need to. Fun stuff. Uh, yeah. More fun stuff. Uh, this comes out. Uh, thanks to you. Thank you, Engadget, for this article that I'm going to read here. I'm not going to show it, but I'm going to read it. Uh, PS5. Or, or should I say Sony. PlayStation yeah. Plus or whatever it's called. What is the streaming service called? Yes, PlayStation. Well, yeah, it's the PlayStation Game Pass. Whoa. Um, so PlayStation has, uh, if you want to call it uh, a, a new competitor to Game Pass, uh, that's what it's supposed to be. That is, that's what we're calling it because that's exactly what it's supposed to be. It can be a competitor, just like the uh, just like the Detroit Pistons are a competitor in the NBA. I mean, they compete. They don't compete well, but they compete. Uh, that's that's how that's how, kind of how I feel about this. I, as you guys know, uh, I don't. I have a PC and a Switch. I don't. I do not. I have no allegiance to Xbox side or PlayStation side. Uh, I do have Game Pass on the PC, but I've also talked crap about Game Pass on this very podcast before. So I have no allegiance in this in this conversation. But I want to say real fast. But I don't let Drew take over after because I'm sure he knows way more about it than I do. It's not a competitor. It's not going to compete. It's going to sell well for net Sony customers, which is exactly the intention. Sell well for Sony customers. They are not doing anything. They're, Maybe they, there there are some even the PC feature, which we'll get to in a second. Like there, you can play some uh, uh, Sony games streaming on PC. That's it's really if you look into it, it's really just meant for PlayStation players who have a PC, not PC players who want to play PlayStation games. It's really kind of tailored for for those people, and it's also it's streaming, which boo, uh, for the, for the PC side of things. But yeah, it's uh, I don't drip. What do you know about it? I mean, I know everything about it. I know all things about it. Not all, all things, right, but I, it, I, I've, I'm, I'm bummed about it, dude. 
You're bummed. I, I was I was excited that this was gonna happen. I'm not I'm not getting this. I'm staying where I'm at. I have no reason to get any of this. So explain as if I've never heard the news before. Explain okay, so, explain the news. So there's different tiers. The yes. most this is what's really weird about. Well, it's not really weird. I know what they're doing. The most expensive tier is sixteen dollars. Okay, that's a weird sixteen dollars a month. It's a weird price. Okay, it's more expensive than Game Pass Ultimate. Yeah, it's and weird, we're gonna get. Or I'm gonna get into all this so we can compare these for real. But so it's a dollar more a month. But then you can you can pay for the whole year, which Game Pass. Uh, Microsoft doesn't give you an option to pay for a full year. You can pay like three months at a time and yeah, get like five dollars off. I do like that. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big. I hate subscriptions, so I'm a big fan of when they can take a subscription and just make it a yearly one. A yearly thing. Yeah, I, that, I'm a that big is fan. Nice. Of that. So they're giving you the option to do that because they know it. In that sense, it's cheaper than Game Pass Ultimate. It does end up being cheaper. I think it's like, I don't know. It, it's a good bit cheaper. I don't know the exact price. Uh, but it it does end up being cheaper. But if you do monthly, it's actually a dollar more a month, and you're getting way less. There's there's a few major problems with this, and I, I think the biggest one, and I don't know, I, I kind of get why they're not doing it, but with Game Pass Ultimate and Microsoft, <laughs> you get all their first party stuff yes. day one. Yes, it's released. You get it done on, deal. Yeah, you just get everything. Always. Not some, not some things. All right. So as far as this, as far as it goes right now, and I don't think there's going to be any changes because I feel like they would have announced that this is the way it's going to be. I mean, they may backpedal and change it now. You don't get Sony's first party games included with this. You don't get them. Like, what what the hell is the point of me buying this? Like, cool. They have, I don't know, you can get PlayStation 2 games. You can get PlayStation 1 games. You can. Very cool. Very now, cool. You can stream. You can't play them you can't download them but you can stream playstation 3 games very uncool very uncool very uncool uh i'm so, dude come on people people they, i don't know their excuse for not doing it is because like the emulation's weird and they used like a weird version of like linux or so i don't even know what it was it was something really weird why they won't do it people do it on the fucking internet for free they don't they're not paid to do it you're telling me that that Sony can't make this happen. Th- there's no way that that's that is bullshit to me. That that's like come on, you're gonna start charging these tiered prices for this and lock this behind. Come on, make it right. Do it the right way. So that's kind of shitty. The no games thing, the no first party games thing. Like not even like it's fine. Even if you're not gonna give them all, which I get because Sony we've talked about this a few times, especially whenever Microsoft just started buying up studios, they've got deep, deep pockets. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Sony does not have like if they start giving all their games away in this service. Yeah. It might entice more people to come, but I don't think they can afford to do it. I don't think they can afford to put, I, I think that would hit them really hard. I don't think they, they're in the position to offer something like that. The way that Microsoft does. They yeah. could put some though, especially now, like uh, God of War Ragnarok's gonna be coming out later this year. Like, wouldn't that be a, just the the first one? Like, bam, here it is. Like, this is coming out. Here's this game, day one. Like, that would be huge. That would get people in the door. That might get me in the door. But right now, it's like, why would I buy this? I don't need to. I have absolutely no reason to. Because the only reason I would do it is to get Sony's first party stuff and not have to pay for it. That's the only reason I would do it. I don't really care about old PlayStation 2 games, to tell you the truth. I don't really care about old PlayStation 1 games. I don't care about PlayStation 3 games. Don't really care that much about those things. If I'm not getting your first-party stuff in the subscription service like Microsoft is doing, I, I don't need it. That's why, I, that's why I have Game Pass Ultimate. That's the sole reason. It's nice to have the rest of the games. And let's think about this, too. A dollar more a month, a dollar more a month you're paying for this stuff you're not going to have any Bethesda games on there. Nope. You're not going to have, uh, you're probably not going to get EA play all that stuff that they've already done with. No, of Microsoft. course not. They've of course already, not. They're in bed with Microsoft on it. They're yeah. not going to let it. They're yeah. not going to do that with Sony. Absolutely. Microsoft not. probably has a contract where they can anyway. I mean, who else do we got? I mean, they, they bought, uh, help me out here. Who was the big one? They just bought blizzard. Act, yeah, yes. Blizzard, Activision blizzard Activision. call yeah. duty. Nope. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. This is not this is not what they should be doing. And the the fact that they're this far behind 
I don't think this is nearly enough, man. I don't think it's nearly enough, especially for what they're charging. You got to put some first party games in there. Some. I get not all of them, yeah. but some of them got to go in there. Once again, I want to reiter- reiterate my point that they're not competing with Game Pass. This is not a, a service that competes with Game Pass. Game Pass, but it's supposed is to. It, that's the, Game Pass. That's the, la- that's the laughable part about it all. Right. Because uh, yeah, I'm they la- really I'm, think I agree. like, oh yeah, we're we're in. Look at us. No, I, I'm like, laughing no, with not. you, man. It, there, it's this is a service. This is great for those people who like PS2, like P- big play. These are this is going to be a great service for PlayStation fans. This is a service yeah. for PlayStation fans. If you if you had all the Playstations, you got PS2 games, you got PS3 uh, three games, you got PS1 games. Yeah, I mean, I think you, on the highest tier, it's like 700 games or something. You can play like your PlayStation, you can stream them on the, on the system, you can play some uh, on the system itself, or you can stream some on your PC, which is a, a awesome feature for PlayStation players. Uh, it's not for, any, for a PC player. It's not for... Uh, uh, it's not for the PlayStation player who wants the new games because it's not offering that. If this this is only competitor, this service is only a competitor. It only competes if if it gives you the first party titles on release day. That's the only way it can compete. Everything else with Game Pass, the only that's all gravy, brother. All that extra stuff, like the only thing that people want is the latest titles. Everything else that comes with it is gravy. And then yeah, Sony's it's like, extra. Sony's yeah, it's like, like that's great. Sony's like, we're gonna give you four helpings of gravy, but not the entree. Who wants to sit there with the spoon and sip on gravy when watching Dude, someone else eat chicken? Listen, depending on the gravy. <laughs> okay, let's be real. Uh, KFC gravy is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, it's oh yeah, it is. Here's, Ooh, here, I, we, we had KFC the other night, man. <laughs> I, here's am I the only one who does this? Uh, I know that, that like those bowls exist, but here's here's I make my own bowl, right? Here's what I do: the base is coleslaw, and then I I do okay. two part uh two parts coleslaw to one part uh, potatoes. Then I okay. drown it all in gravy. Mm-hmm. Make it, and I don't actually mix it up usually, but sometimes I will mix it up. That's not the point. I do. I like to have the pools of gravy in the coleslaw yeah. and the mashed potatoes. So don't, okay. don't mix the gravy in, but pull mm, dip dip some yeah, t- I mean, dip some I'm, dip the chicken in that. That's now a sauce. That's like yeah, it's dude, a gumbo chicken KFC gumbo. When I get so when I get KFC, I I always end up getting like you know obviously chicken, but I get mashed potatoes and gravy because I use it like I don't get barbecue sauce. I don't get you know, I, I use the Get mashed potatoes here. and gravy as as a dip. That's the way to do it. That's Absolutely, the only way to eat KFC. It's the only way to eat it. Done. What were you talking about? Done. Oh, PlayStation. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we're done talking about PlayStation. Yeah. If they you like to, to drink to... gravy from the carton while watching your rest of your family eat chicken. Yeah. Then you'd get I'm the staying, service. I'm Some people really my... like to drink gravy. There's those people out there. Those hardcore yeah. PlayStation fans are gonna love this service. Yeah, they're, I'm but with what it's, I have. they're not going to love the. They're, uh, let's, real quick, let's let's get let's reiterate. Let's talk about the price again. Three tiers, uh, ten dollars, thirteen dollars, sixteen dollars. Can you tell me one good reason why someone would go with the with the thirteen dollar over the ten dollar? Who is trying to save what three times twelve? That's a little bit of money. That's a little well, bit of money for me right now. The ten dollar one, just so I have online. Like that's it. I don't want any other stuff. Oh, so this includes online. So you're already you're gonna get. Are you gonna start get? Is this the ten dollars on top of 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 the online? If okay, if you're if you have PlayStation Plus right now or whatever PlayStation to play, which most of them most people do because they want to play online, right? Yeah, then it's no change. No, you're in tier one. Ah, I get it. You're in tier one. Is that the way it works? Because I don't have Xbox. Is that the way it works with Xbox too? Uh, yeah. There's game pass game pass ultimate and there's xbox live gold but i think they're about to get rid of xbox like that's, xbox yeah, live gold that used to be i had xbox live gold for many years back in the day that's yeah, it's the, not it's not well and now they've, they've kind of abandoned it because they still put like free games in there kind of like sony does yeah that with was, theirs, it was always but dumb. they're just garbage yeah they're like, always they have bad. game pass now like why are they why are they even putting those games there now yeah it's kind of fu- it's, funny it's, to see where they come from that was an awful yeah. awful it, was, it wasn't a service they just kind of gave it to you but yeah Weird. But if yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm sure eventually that'll go away, and it'll just be Xbox. You know. Game well, my Pass question Ultimate, is, if you, if you whatever. get Game Pass Ultimate, does it come with online play? Can yes. you play? Yes. Okay, that, that was my question. It's that. Okay. That's the price. Yeah, it's that's everything. Ultimate includes everything. So yeah, this is yeah for sure. I, I was gonna start pivoting like, oh well, Game Pass is like twenty five dollars now because you have ten dollars a month for online. But no, no, no. So fifty dollars for Game Pass all in, and then like all in a Sony sixty. Why would they? What are they thinking? What, oh, I know what they're doing. What a terrible business decision. Well, no, you, it's not. It's it actually is. smart. Let me, because they know okay, it's not right. worth that. Okay, let, you, Listen, go, you go first. They know it's not worth that. 
They know it's not worth that. So you and I are sitting here saying, well, why is it a dollar more than, than Game Pass? And then you look and they're like, oh, well, there's a year you can do, and it's way cheaper. It actually ends up being way cheaper than Game Pass. And then they're like, okay, well, I'll just pay for the full year. Then they got your money for a full year. So even if it sucks and you don't like it, you've already paid for a full year. It's smart. They're not it's actually really smart. What you're essentially saying is, in a, in a shortened way, you're not there Sony's not expecting people to see sixteen dollars a month. They're expecting people to see a bulk price per year. Yeah. If that's the case, okay. But it's the fact still remains that it's it's sixteen dollars a year. And if Come if on. it if that included all first party titles on release day, that's still a hard sell. Be, well, it's not a hard sell, but it's no, still in it, at that point. No, it's, still, it, it's still it's not a hard sell at all. That's not what I mean. What I mean is it's just weird, man. If you're trying to compete. You got the the go, the game is you come at the same level as your competitor or you come or you beat them. You, yeah. You've done neither. You're above them and you're worse. In yeah. price you're above it's them not, in price and your product is worse. What what are you waiting for, Sony? Like what are you doing, man? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't I really it's, I don't I, I get it. I get, your point makes a lot of sense. They're gonna see it in bulk price. They're not gonna think about it like that. It's still fucking dumb, man. And again, what's what's? I want to make it clear that in another way, they're not competing, right? Because Xbox is really for Xbox players. Sony is the the service. Sony uh, Game Pass that is Sony. Sony's version of Game Pass is for Sony players. It's not like you can you have a choice on each platform. You only have one choice on Xbox and only one choice on Sony. But it's just weird, man, to have a the one dollar more. We're yeah. we're our dicks are that much bigger. One X, you get tw- give me twelve. Well, Sony's like give me twelve extra dollars for the same value. Give it, give me. I want twelve. And you have to extra think bucks. about this too. Like, what are you doing, man? Like uh, the people who have a PlayStation and an Xbox and a Switch. Like you got Game Pass. What's the point? What's the point in buying that? Like unless you are a hardcore enthusiast, uh, like hard. Poor. That's I'm it. That's too. It. I'm not getting it. It's not for you then, and and that's no. that's why these services work. They're not for everybody. They're for the people who they work for. Yeah. I made that argument with uh, Game Pass. Yeah. Like that's what it, Game they're... Pass gives you so much. It gives you so much. It's worth it fifteen dollars. Easy. It's worth more than that. Yeah, I pay ten. It's worth more. I pay ten for the PC version, and I'm I'm happy. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm, well, I'm cruising. The... I'm cruising right there. Now, you know, it's yeah. I don't want to talk about that. It, we're we're good. Like it's we're cruising at, at ten dollars a month on PC. Yeah. If I had an Xbox, I'd have it too. I'd have Game Pass yeah. in there too. Lots of games. Absolutely. W- weird situation. Speaking of weird situations, uh, mm. like breaking news uh, as of like, I don't know, like, like earlier today, like, t- like just hours ago as of recording this podcast on March 31st, yeah. 2022, uh, E3 t- uh, 2022 canceled. 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 Like not n- n- digitally. The, the the physical event you can't go canceled. in. Canceled. Canceled. The digital event to watch at home. Canceled. It's over. It's done. It never happened. Canceled. The ESA has confirmed the cancellation. Yes. Well, what do you what reactions? <laughs> it's not honestly. It's not that surprising. I'm I, I mean, I, I'm caught off guard because I had not heard anything about. I was never expecting well, this. What happened? Okay, man? well, for a while, nobody even knew if it was going on. Like, nothing. They had just said nothing. I mean, you got to think about it. This is supposed to be happening in, what, two months? Yeah. Three like, months? They just started talking about this actually, you know, being a thing, like, last month. Like, this is a huge event. This takes a lot of time to plan. You know, companies have to know what's going on to be able to plan for it too. You know what I mean? It's been a shit show this entire year trying to get this whole thing together. And it looks like a lot of the people were jumping ship to summer games fest. Anyway, is that Jeff so? Keeley's thing? What's up? Yeah. I, I, don't, what I, don't, I don't know what that is. And you know, you know, Jeff Keeley, the guy who does uh, the uh, game awards. It's his thing. The guy. Who, started, oh, gotcha. Yeah. He started it. Uh, what was it? Last year? Year before? I can't remember. Uh, during the I'm, pandemic, I'm new in this world. But I'm, this is like my year two. I'm still kind of fresh. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> so, uh, they did that during the pandemic. And so it was fine. It was fine. It was like, I don't know. It was fine. It was okay. I mean, I don't know. A lot of people thought it was good. I didn't think it was superior to what we got with E3, but 
I don't know. It was it's been weird the last couple of years anyway. And the E3 thing, I don't know. I think the pandemic just kind of showed these companies like we don't need you in this digital age. We just we don't need to do we don't need to pay millions of dollars to you to come set up a booth and then let a bunch of people watch, you know, a Nintendo Direct from home. Nintendo now they they're still they were still in it. From what I've heard, I'm pretty sure they were one of the ones that was still like, yeah, like we're in. Well, you know why. We'll get to that in a second. Oh, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, that's that's why. That's definitely why. Um, I don't know. My thing with this whole E3 thing, it's, it's fun. E3 is a fun thing when it happens, mm. but... I don't know. We'll get to the other part of it, the other side of the coin here first. It's like, again, these companies don't need, they don't need E3. They, they don't, don't need it. No. They, they can put out, like Nintendo can put out a direct anytime they want. Sony can do a state of play anytime they want. EA can do their thing. Ubisoft can do their thing. You know, Square Enix can do their thing. Everybody can do their own shit. It's very easy you know, to put on a presentation like that. That's all they're doing anyway. Yep. They don't need E3. But it is fun that we know that that one week is coming and we're, like every single day for like four or five days, we're going to get announcement after announcement yeah. from this company, this company. And then Sony goes, you know, but they haven't been there for a couple of years. But, yeah. you know, and then Microsoft, I mean, that show Microsoft had a couple of years ago. Was it last year? And maybe it was last year. It was absolutely ridiculous. Just the, the best E3 presentation I think there's ever been. It was nuts how many things they announced. And it was like, boom, this summer, Game Pass. Boom, winter, Game Pass. Boom, November, day one on Game Pass. It was, And it was literally nonstop. Nobody even talked. They just kept showing trailers for almost an hour. It was nuts. So, I mean, the fact that you get all these things right in a row and there's a schedule and you know what's going like, to that is fun. It's really fun. Especially like last year was really the first year I got to cover it sort of. And I only really covered the Nintendo stuff, but it was a lot of fun to be involved in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. It was so much fun. And that's, that's what I, I'm worried that we're going to not have. I know the summer games fest thing is going to happen, but that, that went over like, weeks like it was like here's a little portion of it here here's a little portion of it here there wasn't like a thing you know what i mean yeah i don't know it, it's i hope if they're going to do it that way if that's the way they're going to go with this that they change the summer games fest thing to more of an e3 style where it's all you know what i mean compacted yes. into a week so it's just fun it's fun to have something to look forward to like that you know what i mean they, they could have a gentleman's agreement to okay guys let's try to try to keep our announcements in unison here so it's like an exciting week maybe maybe not who knows but i mean i yeah. want to make the point here like look at the look at the uh the oscars the ratings are as low as it's ever it's it's second lowest ratings it's ever been in history for the oscars hey keep my wife's name out, out your, your fucking, fucking mouth. mouth philly zone uh not crazy <laughs> proud not crazy proud philly zone uh <laughs> will not proud. Uh, uh, well, I mean, you know, you're not getting know. into that. That's we are not. We are not. We <laughs> are not. In the, in the after not. show, we might. Let's go. <laughs> ah, maybe. Uh, but uh, the and then look at the the tech uh, world. It, the same thing's happening. The same thing is happening in the tech world. Like uh, the what is it called? The CES. It's. I think it still happened this year. I think. Yeah, but it did. It, it, did. If, if, but that's a, that's the thing. Like I used to love CES, man. CES was like it was like Christmas for tech people, and it's the same idea. In a week span, you get announcement after announcement after announcement all happening at this convention center in real in life in real life and since the pandemic yeah. started you know it, they're going digitally these companies are like look at what apple's doing man have you seen apple's uh, uh, yeah, they, uh events yeah they have their own yeah what? they have an their amazing, own theater. they just yeah what they an, do it themselves if you've never seen if you don't care about apple products i can i get it i get you and i'm I kind of on your side but here's the thing guys <laughs> watch their presentation when they really oh they yeah they're something. great it their is some, it's some insane. of the best cinematography i've, I've ever seen yeah, and, and yeah, I, it's I, great. that's not saying a whole lot, but I mean, it's still saying something. It, it's a what and a sh what a show they put on for just some fucking iPhones are the same as last year. But <laughs> They're not the same, Chief. <laughs> I mean, look at the SC, the SC man. It's literally the same thing. It's the same exact phone from two thousand. Yeah, anyway, sixteen. Anyway, uh, internals are different, but so what do you think about the future? 
do you think next future. year there's an E3? Is this it? Future. Is, is there going to be... Sorry, I had to do that. Is there going to be an E3 next year? No. It's dead. I don't think so either. It's dead. And it's like rightfully so. It doesn't need to. We don't need these award shows. We don't need them. We don't need this present. Like, like it's not an co- award show, though. It's not really an award show. We it's- don't need these awards show style presentations. We don't need these big conventions. Now, if they still want to, once you know, COVID is starting to light up for sure. Once they, everyone feels more comfortable with going out in person convention, and they want to bring it back for a, a in person thing only, and maybe come back to the way it used to be. I'm fine with the way it used to be. Because either way, as a person who doesn't go to the conventions because they're either not in my state or I can't afford to to, to go, and all digital it's still things fun doesn't it makes it makes no sense for a convention to be all digital. No, what ha- ends up what ends up happening if if like uh, I, I again referring to CES here, I, I would just follow my favorite tech YouTubers. They would go to the convention and they would give me the updates. I don't need like I don't need a, a CES live feed for five straight days. Well, they just I mean I'm got, got my I favorite YouTubers up. I do want that. I want that. But and I want it to be a real too, thing. I want people to be way. there. I want it to be an actual building that people are at, not I'm, like I'm totally oh, fine. It's a digital event. Yeah. We're I'm, doing this all from you know. Do it again, Greg's basement. Yeah. yeah, go for it, guys. Like if you want to go ahead and, and do that whole big convention thing again, go for it. Hey, uh, real quick, Twitch break. Midway crisis. You said this is fun. That's a compliment, and we appreciate your compliment. Saying that it's it is. Oh wait, you said it no, is. He fun. said it is fun. Fuck. He's talking about. E, uh, I thought you were complimenting E3. us. God no. damn it! I guess we're not fun, no. drip. We're not. Fuck. We're here for business. It's business. This is not fun. Game time. Who? Uh, no. First time chat, though. Thank Stop. you. Stop, dude. Make sure Stop. to follow. Like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo. Speaking of, no, speaking wait, of we, announce, we announcements that oh, are not doing it. Announcements that are not happening at a CES this mm. year. Uh, the biggest one. We just got a huge announcement. And that announcement was one I called last week. Thank you very much. Uh, we got a Breath of the Wild 2 update, guys. Uh, and notice I said Breath of the Wild. Next week. Ma- ma- notice I said Breath of the Wild 2, and I didn't say the name of the game because the news that we got was either going to be two things. Either we got the name of the game or we got uh, uh, the date got pushed, and that's exactly what we got. Their Breath of the Wild yeah. 2 Unfortunately, is pushed to uh, uh, what do they call it? Spring or what do they call it? Uh, spring. First half, spring or first half? They said spring twenty twenty three. So that that's quarter two. That's Q two. Might be March, depending on what they consider at, spring. At the earliest uh, March of twenty twenty three. I kind of think it's gonna be March, to be honest with you. March third. I th- I think they need just a little bit of extra time, not a lot, but they uh, they need the most time to promote the game. So I think I'm kind of thinking it's gonna be March next year. Yeah, I mean, I don't um, know, March, April. I think April's kind of, I don't know, it's a weird thing. But, hey, I mean, listen, man. I told you this was going to happen. I agreed with you. I agreed with you when you, and I know when you, you talked did. about it. I know. Lot, lots, of, lots of people did. Lots of people didn't. There's some comments on that video that I put out, what, last week? Like, no, it's coming out in 2020. I even put a, 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 a poll on YouTube up about it. Lots of comments on that, too. No. Definitely coming in 2020. They wouldn't have said it if they weren't going to do it. And I'm like, dude, tell me the last Zelda game that came out when they said <laughs> it was going to come out. Like, t- show me the last one. Because I, I don't what you know. Got. But we're, we're, Breath of the Wild was pushed forever. Breath of the Wild was pushed years. But here, here's the really cool thing, man. So we're watching the trailer on YouTube right now. Uh, watch we're, In a second, we're about to see some footage that we have never seen. A uh, new game page, uh, gameplay trailer that we have not seen right here. So Link is grabbing the Master Sword out of his out of his back satchel, whatever the thing is. And look at that Master Sword. It looks now, Abby. I saw. I thought it was just straight up broken. And Abby had a good point. No, it's, it's like it's corrupted. It's a corrupted. Yeah, it's got some nasty. Master it's, Sword. it's like it's, it's like the malice away. ate it. Yes. Yeah. Something ate it. Yeah. Like it's, an acid or something. It looks like. Yeah. And I can remember who on uh, YouTube is talking about. Something on his it. hand is shining. Yes. Not a Triforce, though. It is a Not. symbol. It's a round, glowing, squiggly symbol. I don't know what it is. I haven't looked that far into it. I'm sure I could do some uh, some Zelda tuber watching and figure out exactly what it is. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's pull that Show point up. the last the game tr- that hasn't been delayed. Uh, that's what I'm saying. They've, they're all delayed. Every one of them. Every Zelda game is delayed. This is not... This is not... 
uh, news that should surprise anybody. I, I don't know. I figured it was going to happen. It happened. There it is. There it is. Uh, Enhance. How do you feel zoom. about it? I can't. Oh, that doesn't zoom. do anything. That does nothing. Enhance. You can't. You can't zoom a video. Zoom. Um, Enhance. Yeah. So it, it does some squiggly shit on his hand uh, and yeah, uh, on that arm something. piece that he has. That's uh, that. Uh, uh, I almost said reportedly. Uh, sus- I suspect that device is going to be what the device that we he uses to go with rocks and the new Sheik is slate essentially. Yeah. That's that's. What I figured it probably is too. Whatever, yeah, whatever's going on with his arm there has to do with that. I would, uh, yeah, I so would guess. Is it? Uh, it's got to be Sheikah technology, right? Also glowing. Yes, it is weirdly glowing in a weird way. You think Fi's coming back in this game? Oh my god! Now they hinted to that in Breath of the Wild. If you recall, know, yeah, the sound, you know, yeah, they played Fi's we, we beat, Fee, we, we, we did that part. Yes, we did that part on stream. We, yes, I was like, yeah, this is it. This is it right here. This is it. Yeah, it's uh really interesting. It's it's glowing weirdly with a blue aura. His hand has that orange yellowy aura around it with in that with that device so that like infinity stone type thing that has some squigglies all over it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I, but that it's new. Like that we they gave us a nugget. I appreciate the nugget. Nintendo. Yeah, they threw us a little bit of a bone there. That's cool. Yeah. Appreciate I mean- it. Delayed it. I don't it. care that it's delayed. I don't care. I don't either, man. Like, take good. all the Delay time it. you want. Exactly. Like, this does not bother me. I know a lot of people are bummed, but like, of course, I, rightfully so. Rightfully so. Let's. Like, I asked this in in the video that I put out earlier this week. What are we getting? We're getting something. We're getting a Zelda game this year. Which one are we getting? That's, that's kind of the that's, coolest part to me. Right. Like, I, I cannot. We cannot agree more on that. Like. Like I'm pumped. okay. Like okay, we're we're not getting Breath of the Wild too, but you know we are getting something Zelda, a Zelda game. Yeah, what I mean. I so let's let's go video, back. I mean the one that we all are like, oh, it's probably going to be Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, maybe both, one or the other. Most likely, I'd say that's that's where we're going to be headed. One of those, I would say that's that's the most likely scenario. It better not be Wind Waker, Nintendo. Oh my god, it'd it be hilarious. Better if not it was. be. Listen, it's going to be because I went ahead and spent $150. It, yeah. It's going to be Wind Waker, but yeah. it better not be Wind Waker. And if it's Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, because I'm also going to get Twilight Princess on digitally, that's going to happen. So if they give us Nintendo, uh, uh, um, I also, buy, I don't know if you realize, I paid $50, $55 after tax and shipping for Wind Waker. Like I paid full price for it. Yo, yeah, that's full price. That's I, paid, I paid full price for it. Uh, if they make, if, if they release it on Switch, I mean, I'm buying it again. It's just uh oh, I'm definitely buying it. It's just gonna it's gonna hurt more because I just bought it now. It's not like I bought it ten years ago. I, I'm yeah. I just well, bought I mean, it I just, now. I just rebought I just rebought uh Wind Waker and Twilight Princess for the Wii U. Yeah. He, here's I sold all my Wii U stuff whenever I got my Switch. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't need this. Like, so and here, I, man, here's I what I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for and you talked about in your video, again, cannot agree more with you. A a a new or a remake. 2D game. Give it to me. Give me a Link's Awakening remake of of Link, a Link Between Worlds. Give it to me. I don't think they'll do that. I would. Uh, I would shit. I don't my think they're gonna do pants. I would I don't think they're shit gonna do any my pants because I love a Link Between Worlds. And if they remade it and make it look amazing on the Switch, I love that game so much. Please give that to me. That's what I'm rooting for. I mean, I I, I don't think they'll remake it. A link between worlds? It's it's a 3DS game. You can't just port it. They've done it all the time. They did it with Monster Hunter uh, Generations Ultimate. But this is not Monster ported. Hunter Generations. This is a Nintendo game. They're not going to just port. They're going to. They want to give you the best experience. That's all Nintendo's thing. That it's not the best. The best that experience. Game's is, not is, old though. It, I'm not saying. I'm not saying it. Remake that game. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it needs gold flaked paint. That's what I'm saying. I'm. But it needs to be. Just like, come on, get Grezzo. Get a little Grezzo touch. Yeah, I don't think that's. I don't think that's, that's what all it needs. Go. I think if we're gonna get a remake of something, it'll be the original. The, I mean, I'd be down that. I'd be down remake any, of the original. Any remake two D or yeah. what else? What else would they remake? I mean, I, I'm still. I don't or care like, that they're on a the double, six, a, I don't care a double that they're pack. on the sixty four. I don't care that they're on the sixty four uh, online expansion pack. I still think we're gonna get the three DS versions, HD. Here's the of, thing, you know, dude. Uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. I still think those are going to end dude, up on I, the Switch. Maybe not this Switch. Maybe it'll be the next one. But I guarantee those versions will be up-res to HD and put on something. I just they had a, I just had a thought. 
dude, we've been talking about it for like a year now that they, this Grezzo has already finished a double pack of, of well, Zelda they, games. Supposedly they have two Zelda games finished and they're working on another one. Rumor. We don't know that that's right, true. Right, right, right. So, well, right. We've been hearing about it, but here's the thing, dude. Yeah. What if it's the Oracle Ages and Seasons? And the third game could be something else, the original. I see these guys in the chat talking about because we all were talking about uh, Majora's getting... Mask and Link's Awake or um, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. We got those on sixty four. It's not those. It can't be. It's not, no, they, they won't be those now. No, not, I don't not, think not it'll now. Be those now, what I if think it's... they're coming at some point? Though, but what... these guys in the chat are saying that they don't think we're even getting a Zelda game this year. Listen, Nintendo has said themselves they want a Zelda game every year. Nintendo After Breath of the Wild has done what it's done for the franchise. They will do it. It yeah. is money that they can easily make. They are going to put something out. They will do it. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee there will be a Zelda game this year. Nintendo. I, I can say that with yeah. more confidence than I can say anything about Nintendo, except for there will be a Direct in September. <laughs> a Zelda Direct. <laughs> oh, no, there won't be. But there will be a Direct in September. Another year we of me get, talking about the Zelda, Zelda Direct. We will game this year. I yeah. honestly wouldn't be surprised... If if we get some type of weird announcement in the next like month, like a <laughs> random like, this is coming out. I, I've been picking up a uh, Hyrule Warriors recently. Uh, once again, I'm playing some DLC and Abby as well. And I wouldn't be, I would not be shocked. My jaw would not drop like Hari if they released Hyrule Warriors too, and gave us more story that goes off that or, or, or the or a spinoff. No, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Uh, the The chat's got me riled up here a little bit. Tyson, uh -oh. you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm going to tell you why. Wrong. The reason that the 35th anniversary was a bust for Zelda is because they held shit back for this exact reason. Because they want a Zelda game every year. And they said, well, all this has affected our, our development of Breath of the Wild 2. We may not be able to hit that date. We're like, I don't know. What if we, we do? We want to do it in 2021. Do we want to do it in 2022? Who knows? Can we? Uh, we might not be able to. We don't know what's going to happen. We can't put all these games we have ready out. We're holding these back. We're going to hold them here in case Ooh. we need them. Ooh, the in chat case we is need spicy. Them. We got spicy in the chat. We got Ty the Tyson Wood and we got JD saying they're both going to throw a dollar down on the fact that we are not getting Zelda this year. I got I, I, brothers. I'll throw, two, I'll throw a dollar to match. Uh, I mean, if you guys want to give me your money, that's fine. I'll take your money. <laughs> okay, guys, um, I, I, if you think that we're not getting Zelda game this year and you want to throw a dollar down at Drip Jeep on Twitter, just go ahead and add us with what you just said in chat. I'll put a dollar down that we're not getting a Zelda this year. Throw and it down. I'm gonna, That's fine. I'm I'll, gonna. I'll be. I, I'm I gonna be here where, to collect. I'm, the Drippy G podcast is I'll gonna be here to collect. The Drippy G podcast is going to pin, pin your tweet, and it's gonna stay there, Tyson, until December thirty first, twenty twenty two, or twenty. Yeah, it this, won't take that long. It won't take that long. In theory, it'll stay that long, and at the end of the year, if if it's if it's uh, if it doesn't happen, you owe us a dollar, friend, and if it does happen. If we do get a Zelda, what happens, Strip? What is what? Oh, will we, will we get a dollar. That's the thing. What, what happens if it doesn't happen? What do we do for him? Uh, the sixty-four online games don't count. Those what, don't count. What do we do for him, Drip? Got to think of something. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. It doesn't matter. We're gonna get a Zelda game that they can charge sixty dollars for. Tyson, it's going we'll, to we'll, happen. We'll, we'll discuss, Tyson. But yeah, that's uh, we're, we're getting a Zelda game, guys. We're getting a Zelda game. Of course, we're getting. A Zelda they're not game. gonna. They're not gonna stop. We got Hyrule Warriors. I'm you. We got Hyrule, we, out of nowhere. Nobody was expecting yeah. that. When did they, they for nothing? That? Uh, they, they announced not... it in like November. No, we got the we got know. the game in November. Okay, okay, but yeah, it was. They, but they, they, announced, okay, it they announced it what? very soon before. It was uh, like September. September. Yeah. September. We got they, they announced it in September. We got it in, in November on my birthday. Yeah, uh, yeah. There will be a sixty dollars Zelda game for sure. Hundred <laughs> yeah, percent. Well, I get. I, well, well. Now yes. we got yes. we got a game like the ne the Necro Dancer is that what it's called? Yeah, that doesn't count. We also got another Zelda that year too. Well, that I'm just I'm we just got, saying uh, Link's Awakening. I'm it, pretty sure it is also a pandemic. So it, I w I could see the, a world where we get another game like that, and it's not sixty. It could be like a, a fifty dollar no. or twenty five dollar. That game. is not no. no. I'm just saying I could see a world. I'm not. I can see a world. You I'm may telling not. you right now, there's games that were held back. That's why we didn't get what we wanted for the 35th anniversary. They acknowledged it. With one thing, and you know 
that there was more stuff played. Look what they did for Mario. Like they, they still acknowledged it, and they were like, "I'm telling you, there was more stuff planned." They held it back because it was a very uncertain time. They didn't know what was going to happen. They weren't going to be caught without a Zelda game to put out every single year. That's exactly why we didn't get what we got. We will get a Zelda game this year, whether it's a remake or a port. That's it's going to be one of the two. Or I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll be you know your brother actually has. A, I like your brother's idea the best. Chief. What's his, what's his idea? Paper Zelda, <laughs> like Paper Mario. I wasn't. I'm Paper sorry. Zelda. I wasn't ready for that. That just sounds Fold, stupid. What, is, what, is, what he has um, a title? What is it? Folds of Time. Folds of Time. I love it, I love it dude. I love it. Folds Fantastic. of Time. The Legend of Zelda. Folds of Time. No, the Legend of Paper Zelda. The, pa- the Legend Folds of, of Paper Zelda. Folds of Time. I want it now. Mm-hmm. I need it. I need. I it. would love that. I need it. The SpongeBob references are hard in this episode. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You got you guys keep talking about your your. Four, you're not getting four dollars. You guys are all gonna owe actually, me money. So Tyson, you owe me and Drip indiv- individually a dollar. So actually, you would be giving us two dollars because we'd be giving you a dollar each. That's how this works. We'll use it. We'll use it for our uh, for our uh, our branding. We need a logo and stuff. And goes exactly, yeah, that. it'll go toward our, our logo that we yeah, desperately fantastic. need. Like, look at this yeah. shit. It's it's it's. It dripped in on an iPad. I, I didn't. I, I made it on. Like, I made it on a logo maker on an iPad. I didn't even make it myself. It was uh, just. If there's anybody, tech, if, like, there's, That's good. if there's works. anybody listening who wants to either for a low price or gratis make us a logo, hit us up. You know where to find us: Discord, Twitter, Twitch, anywhere. Yes, we could. I'll we could you, use it. Uh, I'll send you something. Drip will send you. We'll send you something. And yeah. I, I can't actually confirm that he will do that. Just I will. From, I'm going from, to. From the, I got from, your box from, ready to go over here. There's gonna, a box. And the funny thing is, I you know if I never get it, I don't even care. But I'm just gonna make you feel like shit until they give it to me. And I, it's, it's not happening. even mine. It's hers. Well, She's some over, of the stuff in it's yours. I guess so. I did leave a charger there. I kind of want that back. <laughs> you know? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, anyway, it was a it was a, it was an Amazon basic charger. I don't know. It was not. It was a no. It wasn't. You keep saying that. It was a Nintendo branded charger. Okay. Because I texted you when you guys left, and I was like, "Hey, you left your charger here. I had it in my hand." You were like, "Oh, keep it, man." That's what you told me. Well, yeah, I did tell you to keep it. Yeah. Anywho, uh, we got nothing else to talk about. Uh, We're gonna chat a little bit more in the after show. So, guys, go ahead and check out the after show once again. uh, Listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, anywhere you find. Anywhere you can find a podcast, you can also please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel right here. This you're watching it right now. Hopefully you watch to this point. Watch this YouTube video. Like and subscribe video, please. Thank you, uh, yeah. Patreon people. You are the best. Drips people, my people. You guys are awesome. We're giving you an after show for you and the Twitch watchers right now. So go ahead and uh, we're, we have. Here's what the after show is about, guys. You ready? Drum roll, breeze, breeze. <laughs> Jessica Alba. That's all we're talking about. Jessica Alba. We'll see you guys there.